Hi everyone, good day to you. My name is Tim and today we're going to create a LVM partition and extend that very same partition on Red Hat Enterprise Linux version 6. For this demonstration I have added a second hard drive to my VM and this hard drive is 15 gigs. In addition, I have created this simple diagram. Uh, I'll be the first to admit that LVM can be very uh, confusing in the beginning. It was definitely very confusing to me. That is, is because LVM has many many layers but like almost anything else the more practice that you have the better you're gonna be. Alright so let's begin. The first thing that we want to do is go and access the hard drive that has been uh, the new the second hard drive that was installed so it's FDIS DEF SDB. Now S SDA represents my first primary hard drive which has my operating system on it. So we're going to access SDB. We type P and we'll see right here that the hard drive is around 16 gigs in size and it has 1958 cylinders. So what we want to do first is create the extended partition and to do, and to do that we type in N for new then E for extended, we want to give it partition number 1 and hit enter to use the first available cylinder and hit enter to use the last available cylinder so we're going to use the whole disk type P and we see that our extended partition is right here next thing that we want to do is create these three logical partitions and to do that we type in N for new again type L for logical and hit enter to use the first available cylinder and right here I'm going to put in plus 652 so why 652 well if you take 1958 and divide it by 3 you get a number around 652 I'm trying to create three logical partitions of the same size so I hit enter and I type P and right here we see that our first uh, logical partition has been created. So I type N again, then L again, enter, plus 652, enter. And for the last one, N for new, L for logical, enter, use the first available cylinder. And right now, I'm just going to hit enter to use the last available cylinder. I want to use up the whole disk. Type P and we have just created three logical partitions okay very good so we need to change these partitions from Linux to Linux LVM T to do that you type T as asking you which partition number do you want to work on well it's not partition number one because that is our extended partition instead we're going to work on partition five six and seven so let me type five and I'm going to type L to list the partition codes and right here are all the crazy partition codes we're looking at this one 8E Linux LVM so we type in 8E type T and partition 5 is now a Linux LVM partition so let's do the same for partition 6 and 7 type T 6 8E enter T 7 8E enter, I'll type P again, and our three new logical partitions are now Linux LVM partitions. Excellent. So let's type in W to write the changes, and we have just exited from FDisk. So let's go back to our diagram. We've done this part, we've created the logical partitions. Now we want to create the LVM physical volumes, and to do that, we type well, let's do this first. fdisk dash l dev sdb. So I'm going to use these guys, these three, to create the uh, the LVM physical volumes. So I'll type pv create dev sdb5 dev sdb6 and dev sdb7. Hit enter. 5, 6, and 7 successfully created. Alright, very good. And next, 
we want to create the LVM volume group. Now I'm only going to use the first two physical volumes because I need the third one to demonstrate how to extend a LVM volume. So to do that, let me type PVS and it shows that I have three new physical volumes which are not attached to any volume group. So what I'm going to do is type in VG create and I'll give the volume group a name and I'll give it give it the name VG1 and I say I'll say that dev stv5 and dev stv6 are part of this volume group. I hit enter and volume group VG1 has been successfully created. If I type in VGS it says that volume group of VG1 has the size of 10 gigs so we're doing good. So now we want to create the LVM logical volume. So for a logical volume you can create multiple logical volumes on a single volume group. So let's say I split this in half I can have two logical volumes on a single volume group but for now I'm just going to create one logical volume on this volume group. To do that you type LV create dash L. I want to type in 100% free VG1 dash N LVS. Okay, so this command is saying use 100% of the free space on volume group oh, on volume group one or VG1 and give it the name. I'm sorry, LV1. Little typo there. We hit enter and logical volume LV1 has been created. I type LVS and our logical volume has, is, um, is a 10 gig volume. Okay, so next thing we, we want to do is create the extended for file system on the newly created logical volume. And to do this we will type mkfs that extended for dev VG1 LV1 and we have just created an extended for file system. Very good. Okay, so let's now mount this. I'm going to create a folder called uh, a directory called data and I'm going to mount a new logical volume or a new file system to data. To do that, I have to edit the fstat file so it's we're saying dev vg1 lv1 data extended for I'm going to use the default settings 0 0 right quit if I type in mount dash a it's going to mount everything in the fstat file if I type mount it's going to tell me what's mounted and right here VG1 LV1 is mounted on the data folder. Excellent. So if I type in DH, I'm sorry, DF dash H data, we see that our newly created volume is 9.9 .9 gigs in size. Well, let's run it up to 10 gigs. Okay, we're doing good. So now that we're here, let's let us extend our new volume group. So we have, uh, well, I'm going to take the third LVM physical volume and make it a part of the LVM volume group. So let's do that. Let me type in PVS and I see that SDB7 is not associated with any volume groups. So if I type in VG extend VG1 dev SDB7 it's going to add that. Okay, it added that partition. Oh, I'm so, uh, added that. I'm sorry. Added the physical volume to the volume group VG1. If I type VGS, VG1 is now 14.99 gigs in size. Okay. Now we need to extend the logical volume. So I type in LV extend. 
and we have to type out the full uh, path to I'm sorry <laughs> the full path to the logical volume which is def vg1 lv1 I type dash l and I put down 100% vg so what this is saying is that I want our volume our logical volume lv1 to use 100% of the volume group I type in enter and our logical volume has been extended to 15 well 14.99 gigs <laughs> so let's round it off to 15 but there is one more thing here if I type in df-h data we see that our file system is still only 9.9 .9 gigs our volume group has been extended to 15 gigs our logical volume has been extended to 15 gigs but our file system is still at 9.9 .9 gigs so there is a command to change that and please know that all this is live right now so let me actually go to data cd data you touch file 1 file 2 file 3 you can see that this folder is mounted so it's live right now okay so if I type so let's go back to the command to resize the file um, the uh, file system I'll type in resize 2fs and I'll type in the path to the logical volume which is dev vg1 lv1 hit enter and the modification has started and it really doesn't take so long should be done it's done right now okay we're finished so if I now, now if, oh, I'm sorry if I type in D F dash dash H data. Ah, we see that our file system is now 15 gigs in size. So we're doing okay. So this concludes our demonstration. I thank you for your time. I thank you for watching this video. I hope that this has been helpful. I'm wishing you all a very good day. Thank you and God bless.